So this circle is special because no matter how our triangle looks, the circle will always pass through all three vertices. And it will always have G as its center. This circle is called the circumscribed circle. And that's because it goes, it's on the outside of the triangle, but the triangle touches at all three of its vertices. For example, we can have a circumscribed circle around a square. Assume that that actually touches at all the vertices. There's a number of ways that we can have a circumscribed circle. But here we have the circumscribed circle for this triangle. And that's why G gets the name of circumcenter, because it's the center of the circumscribed circle. OK, so what you need to know is that perpendicular bisectors meet at the circumcenter. The circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices of the triangle, which means it's the center of the circumscribed circle. And the circumscribed circle is the circle that will pass through each vertex of the triangle. If all of this makes sense to you, if you think you understand perpendicular bisectors and you understand their relationships to one another, particularly that the circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices, you may move on to the example problems.